Here, check it out, the Opie and Anthony show. Another busy morning, by the way. Did you guys hear that sound clip in the uh, green room? Any of you? No. You were too busy yapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to figure out what it was. talking negatively about the show. <laughs> yeah. Can you explain uh, the basic premise of uh, Cloverfield? Somebody just to get everyone on board? Yeah, it's about a group of friends who were throwing a going away party for a buddy of theirs who's going to Japan, and then, uh, then some shit goes down. Oh, uh, hey. oh what's oh, that? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to describe this. Some shit goes down. So basically, yeah. there's a going away party. Yeah, there's a going away party. There's an explosion in Manhattan. We don't know what's going on, and you're following this group of friends as they go through the city trying to survive this night. So it's you know this kind of survivor movie. And what you talk about, I mean, it is an intense. It's an experience, I think, more than a lot. Maybe a lot of movies, first-hand experience to go through the movie. And uh, what we try to do while making it is you just really stay true to the idea that that is a character holding the camera. He is there with it. So, you know, as much as we want to tell the story of what the movie is, you can't too conveniently catch the moments, and it has to feel like he's really there. He's whipping his head to see what you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really liked it, though, man. It's like I had heard, just like, all right, it's, it's a monster movie, kind of. You didn't know what to expect. And I'm very rarely on the edge of my seat when I when I watch a film. They're small seats, though, too. They're very. They really were tiny. Yeah, I was kind of you know my ass exactly. was hanging the popcorn on the floor. No, it was up, but it was really uh, everything to me was unexpected about it. I had no idea what what the thing looked like. I had no idea where it was going to go. And we're obviously not going to give away the ending, but let's just say it wasn't a typical Hollywood thing. So it was really, really uh, uh, interesting film. Well, we have always the script like. Were you guys totally scripted? They didn't tell you a lot. Or you know, we improved so much we did. of the we did. film. We ripped a bunch of stuff, and none of us saw the script before we signed on, so we didn't, because it was so secretive. Literally five days before we yeah. started filming is when we finally got to read a script, and I mean, wow. the trailer was shot before we, the, the right. trailer came out in front of Transformers that everyone saw. We were maybe two days into the actual filming of the movie at that point. Wow. Right. And so we that, just found out who we were playing. And that trailer came out before the script had been finished. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it, there, it was very much the whole concept of this movie, the marketing campaign, was that was at the outset they had that idea. And then uh, when we were figuring out the movie, it was kind of happening on the fly in a lot of ways. It really was. <laughs> and it, we, we didn't, you know, we had no idea what, it, this is a, it was a totally different approach to make, I mean, to, to, to shoot a teaser before you shoot the film, mm -hmm. that never happens. And so it was exciting. I mean, it was exciting, and it was strange to find out that I wasn't going to be on camera at all. It was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and it came in at like, uh, relatively speaking, pretty low budget for a uh, you know a movie of that scope. You know, Twenty-five you're, you're, million. You know, wreck in New York. Really? I mean, that kind of mm -hmm. takes a lot of money these days. Twenty-five million, she said, for the whole movie. Yeah. Million. Yeah. That was yeah. Right. So, yeah. Open's yeah. got that in his pocket right now. Right. It, it pretty yeah. much all went to the special effects, I think. Um, yeah. Like yeah. If, if Did we didn't have any special effects, <laughs> <in this movie. laughs> didn't go to the cast. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> if we didn't have special effects, we could have made it for like two million, probably. They were good. The effects were really good. Those, are the, those yeah. are the guys that really made yes. that film as the visual yeah. effects guys. I mean, so much of it was done. You'd step onto set. I mean, like the Brooklyn Bridge stuff. They literally, they made a hundred foot section of the walking path on the Brooklyn Bridge, and then it was just wrapped in a green screen. And you, they literally went in hours beforehand and put little tiny orange X's all over the place because you have one camera that's whipping all over God's green earth, and there's no way of having a perspective as to where you are. And so they use those things to tell where they were when they laid in New York behind it. And it came, I mean, I was amazed at how flawlessly. Yeah. When you 